the higher judiciary in India has made the most remarkable innovations in the field of public law using instruments like judicial review of administrative action and public interest or social action litigation to both enforce constitutional mandates as well as to amplify the Constitution's philosophy in a meaningful manner. But as the judges have themselves stated, in contemporary times, conventional common law wisdom and the doctrine of stare decisis need to be fortified with knowledge of modern challenges and the response of applied sciences, including economics, as the Honorable Chief Justice of India just now mentioned. The ability for economic analysis of law is now as much of an imperative as familiarity with information technology and the world of computers. Certain schools of jurisprudence have for long been tutored in economic analysis and have seen the pattern of rights and duties primarily in those terms. There are other schools of thought as well, including some rooted in ancient Indian tradition. But as recent judgments have shown, the adjudication of rights and claims between parties including between state actors and non-state parties has wide implications for the economy and can no longer be viewed in isolation. Judicial decisions may at times have transnational impact since the global financial and trade systems are also becoming closely integrated. Therefore, judges of the 21st century have to be social scientists, economists, political thinkers and philosophers. We in India can justifiably feel proud that we are blessed with some of the finest judicial minds of the world, including some who are present here today in this distinguished hall. Ladies and gentlemen, in response to transformational changes of this century, we are examining many of our commercial and corporate laws to make them relevant to the challenges that lie ahead, particularly for ensuring distributive equity and empowerment of the marginalized sections of our society, increasing use of the world inclusive is indication of this new emphasis on equity in economic and social processes. 